So I'd like to open the meeting. They all get sold. The Woodbury Select Board meeting for March 14th, 2022. 6.06. 6.06 p.m. is the start time for the meeting. Yes. So we'll start with an open meeting. Are there any questions or comments? Adjustments. Adjustments to the select board agenda. Do you have a comment? General public comments. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> General public comments? <laughs> Hearing none, we'll approve the bills from the town which have been signed. <laughs> <laughs> which have been signed by the elected select board. And approval of minutes from the 228 meeting which will be done by signature. Hearing no other comments, we'll move on to the select board governance agenda, which is to choose officers for the agenda. We have two new select board members, and those select board members are eligible to be chair of the select board. I would nominate Peter Peltz. Second. So there's a nomination and a second for Peter Peltz to be chair of the select board. Do I hear any comment? Hearing no comment, We'll take a vote. Aye. Aye. Peter Peltz is the new chair of the select board. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it's a one-year position. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to nominate uh, Chris to be the vice chair. Second. Oh, you want to uh, want to take over from here and call? Oh, for a yeah. Vote? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and any other positions? Clerk. 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 Um, yes. Want to nominate? You can nominate me. I nominate Diana as clerk. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Here we go. So we're official. So we, we are designating now newspapers for the record um, for legal notices. What's the history been? Well, I think it's always been the Hardwick Gazette. But since they're not publishing now, I heard somebody from Hardwick say that they're doing both the Hardwick Gazette and the Times Argus just to be covered. So there's something in paper mm -hmm. and something local. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. I mean, there are times when we, we had to go further. If we're looking for road crew members or something, we might go to Morrisville or St. Johnsbury for, but for just legal notices of meetings and such, I think. We tend to use use the Gazette as best we can. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. What's left the world. We've been using the world also. Yeah, the world's okay too. Yeah. But it's not very. It's, yeah. Yeah. People it's look scary. for official notices in yep. the regular yeah. newspaper. Can I just comment on that? When we were doing the uh, town plan, <clears throat> we were compelled to hold two public meetings, and. Robin and I started with trying to advertise in the Times Argus, and they proved very unreliable. We had to warn the meetings 15 days prior to those being held. So uh, they didn't follow through with their promise, so we had to do a second meeting. And we warned those second meetings 
in the world and also seven days. Those are publications that are in town and they're paper and they're not electronic. We were criticized by some members of the public because the Gazette now being published only electronically, some folks mm -hmm. didn't have access to them. Mm -hmm. So we decided to go with paper, which would be, uh, in this case, seven days, and uh, yes, the world. You know that seven days was $300, huh? Well, it met, the, it met the stipulations of the open meeting law. So mm -hmm. that was $700 mm -hmm. well spent, or $300, whatever it was. <laughs> well spent, at, at least in my opinion. So the Gazette, yes or no? I think the Gazette and the Times Argus. I think the problems with the Times Argus have been ironed out. You both, you got those yeah, I got the, notices um, from for the Board of Adjustment meeting. I send it both. to their sales department and then I have a supervisor that, that I also send it to down there to make sure that it gets in for me. And the Gazette, if you get the, something there on Monday, Maybe Tuesday morning they'll still publish they'll it still that publish week it. if it's if yeah. it's urgent. So we're nixing the world then and, and using the Times Argus instead. I think we should still use the world, in my personal opinion. For about three pub, three places or that would three. be four with seven there days. Three. No, we're not going to do. We're seven not going to use seven days. Oh, good. I don't think people look in seven days for uh, notice for that kind of. And notices. you don't get them that easily around here right. anyway. No. Okay. The World Times Ar Times Argus in the Gazette. In the Gazette. Mm -hmm. Does that have to be moved, or are we just? Uh... Yeah, yeah. No, we can no. make that designation, as far as I understand. Okay. So we're done with that. Uh, so uh, rules of procedure. Um, I've done some research on that, and uh, Robert's rules of order are very strict. Um, and I can read uh, just some experts, excerpts about it. Except for meetings that provide for public comment, there can be no discussion of any item on the agenda, nor can there be any act, be action on any item not on the agenda. A public comment section allows public to talk about anything, and the, t and the council may question them, but no further action or, or discussion is allowed. I, I've spoken to, to an, uh, a friend of mine who's a uh, a select board member up in Charleston, and he, they run it very strictly. There is no n no interplay between the audience, the um, the, the people that are, partic are here or are, uh, participating, and and the, and the board un until the business is done. There can be opening uh, comments and then closing comments if necessary. So then I called the uh, Vermont League of Cities and Towns, and they have sort of a a, a softer. Um, and I'm just going to read this because um, I think I think this seems to be more uh, amenable. Or um, all meetings of the body are meetings in public, not of the public. Members of the public shall be afforded reasonable opportunity to express opinions about matters considered by the body, so long as order is maintained according to these rules. At the beginning, and then at, uh, as course, a beginning of and end of a conclusion of discussion of each agenda item, bef but before any action is taken by the public body at each meeting, there may be and then a designated number of minutes afforded for open public comment. By uh, by unanimous two-thirds majority vote, the body may increase the time for open public comment in its place on the agenda. Comment by the public or members of the body must be addressed to the chair or to the body as a whole and not to any individual member of the body or public. Members of the public must be acknowledged by the chair before speaking. If a member of the public has already spoken on a topic, he or she may not be recognized again until others have first been given the opportunity to comment. Order and decorum shall be observed by all persons present at the meeting. Neither members of the body nor the members of the public shall delay or interrupt the proceedings of the or the peace of the meeting or interrupt or disturb any member while speaking. Members of the body and members of the public are prohibited from making personal impertinent, threatening, or profane remarks. Members of the body and members of the public shall obey the orders of the chair or other presiding member. The chair 
should adhere to the following process to restore order and decorum of a meeting, but may bypass any or all steps when he or she determines in his or her sole discretion that deviation from the process is warranted. Call the meeting to order, remind the members of the applicable rules of procedure, declare a recess or table the issue, adjourn the meeting until a time and date at certain, order the constable to remove disorderly persons from the meeting. So you get the sort of full spectrum, but um, I, I think this is, 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 you know, it's fairly flexible in terms of how, we, how we're running meetings. And uh, I, I'd like to hear comments or, uh, from other board members or, or, the, or the, the attendees um, what their thoughts might be. Um, what this is just trying to do is, is, is create more ordered order in terms of how we're interacting um, with um, the people that are here and, and the board's, you know, um, actions that are, have to be taken relative to the agenda. Thoughts? Well, I think order is good, but I also think there should be an opportunity for discussions. Well, that's this something. certainly allows for that. Okay, good. During the during the agenda item, yes, not just during. The, yes, okay. right. Okay, good. Chris? I feel like we should have as much transparency and ability to speak with the townspeople who mm -hmm. are here and mm -hmm. present mm -hmm. and who are available to us mm -hmm. remotely in orderly fashion. That sounds fine, but as long as that is still going to be part of our regular decorum, mm -hmm. That will it's, become our regular decorum. It's, it's all right. Should be should this be moved or? Uh, um. And that's the name of the attorney. It's oh, okay. it's yeah. it's following Robert's rules. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. There, these are, it's following yeah. a version yeah, of Robert's yeah, rules. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a slight modification from mm -hmm. Robert's rules. It's mm -hmm. actually. A little bit more flexible. Yes, it is. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Um. I just uh, um, I'm troubled by the part about a person can only speak once. Yeah. No, it, it, they can only, and then if if, every, if any other people after the other people. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So what would we call this if we adopted it? Um. Adapted a, a, rules of procedure modified. Yeah. It would be a modified, modified rules of procedure for the town of Woodbury. Modified from Robert's rules of order. Mm -hmm. As recommended by the. Uh, is, you think that's necessary? <laughs> yeah, no. No? Just do what? Oh, it would be, yeah, I just wonder what we would say if we were making a motion. <laughs> well. Uh, you could just say um, uh, adopt the um, Robert's Based rules Robert. amend, amended uh, as re recommended by the Vermont Leagues of Cities and Towns. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. So moved. Second. <laughs> Adopting. Wait a minute. Is there any any anybody have any comments or questions? After the second. Okay. Mm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Great, now we're on to business. Mm. Um, so, town clerk's report, please. Overall, town meeting was nice and smooth. Long day, but nice and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Which meeting are we referring to? The town town meeting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many voters did we get? 229. And seven hundred and thirty-two. Okay. And um, how many absentee ballots were not returned? Were there a lot? There was quite a few. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So between walk-ins and ballots that were returned, it was two twenty-nine total. Huh? Correct. Yep. And the people in Hardwick were happy when they got their facts from you late at night? Yes. 
<laughs> and I got up there around 11.30. Jeez. Yeah, so Whoa. They were happy. So. Yeah. I don't think they added them up till the next day, frankly, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah. And we have been getting in the overweight permits. So between you three select board members, you're going to have to determine who is going to approve these for us. Is that up to personally being overweight or? <laughs> <laughs> no, no contest there. This is for the trucks. Was a, yeah, oh, the <laughs> trucks, yeah. <laughs> That's personal. Yeah. I'm, a little, I'm, I'm, I'm a little heavy. I'm a little heavy. We have 11 of them here right now. So these are for when, when trucks go on our roads, not even counting mud season because they can't go on during mud season. Right. But like they your need to have trucks a and your propane, your fuel yeah. trucks. Granite. The granite trucks. Granite, certainly, yeah. Garbage. Some of the garbage do, yep. some don't. Schwans. You know, I don't think I've ever seen one for swans, but yes, they think. should be. Well, they're heavy. I don't think they're heavy. Yeah, they they might not be at the end of the day, but at the beginning of the day, they might be. <laughs> Can you read off the ones that have been approved? The ones that are waiting to be yeah, approved? Yeah, yeah. It's an RK Miles. Yeah, that's a lumber company. That's a lumber company. Dead River. That's Fuel. 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 Mm -hmm. Rock of Ages, which is granite. Mm -hmm. Swanson. Pike. Mm hmm. Cardinal? Cardinal. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Chuck, do you know Cardinal? Cardinal Logistics? No. No, I don't. Does it say what they do? They have three tractors, two state trucks, and three flatbeds. Huh. So they must be a, just a trucking company that moves granite? They, 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 they move granite. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, they must move granite. Yeah. yeah, they're one of the subs. They're one of the subcontractors. Yes, sir. Jack Course Fuel, Scott Brown Trucking, Menage, Structure Wood Corporation, and McCullough Crushing. McCullough? Thank you, Michael. Michael, thank you. Thank you, Michael. I'm sorry. I figured out. Thank you, thank you for all your help. We're not sir. firing you. We didn't get to your spot yet. Oh, yeah. no. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Michael. So, do we have we so, gonna move, move to approve? So, we need to the, assign somebody to come have, in the we, office we and assign to the be, bottom. Yeah, of yeah we have to. They can't assign. do it right here. Yeah, they well, know. these you can. They come in every the few week. Can. They come in so sporadically. We can either send an email, have one of you come in, whoever wants to sign them, or yeah, instead of holding, retaining them for okay. two weeks. I will be the designee if I'm approved. Sure. So moved. What time do you have to go to work in the morning? Seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay. Well. But I can open up the town office. And... Oh. Okay. And she leaves them right in the top, uh, the top <laughs> red folder on the wall oh, there. Oh, her goodness. <laughs> Great. Okay. And they all have special little designations that we put on there to about the times of day when trucks can't come down the Cabot Road and the fact that they need to have chains in the winter. Two little stickers mm -hmm. that we put on there. Do you mind if I take a minute? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Yes, you're fine, Chris. Robin <laughs> <laughs> said you were fine. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Anything else, Robin? There is also a letter here concerning Mike McGlynn and the junk cars, and I noticed there's a sticky on the top that said email to select board members. What's the and date I on that? Old. I can't make up my mind if it is 3-18-21. It must be, it just needs to March 15th, 2021. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's the letter from uh, Steve Craddock? That was the Steve Craddock letter. Yes. Oh, yes. so that's just... So yeah. that can just be filed in Michael's in the file office. Of if you account. have a folder on Ainsworth Road, yep. that's, that's okay. where that goes. Okay. We're not going to go through that again, are we? Mm -hmm. Oh, we will. <laughs> no, but I mean, we're, I'm right not, now, not right, right now. now. No. Thank you. <laughs> and I have sent an email out to the people that got elected to come in and sign their oath of office, and I'm still waiting for some of them, so I will send a reminder email out. 
And other than that, it's recordings. Thank you, Mrs. Jerky. Yeah, recording. All right. So, um, oops. Yeah, no, that's all right. Um, town treasurer's report. Yep. Over the past two weeks, payroll expenses of ten thousand six hundred forty-seven dollars and fifty-eight cents. AP accounts payable bills nine thousand eight hundred thirty-five dollars and twenty cents. Income. For cash receipts, taking in for fleet overweight permits, records restoration, copies, fire department insurance, land recording, prepaid taxes, and vault fees totaling $5,869.64. Um, I have packed away um, the beginning, last year's fiscal year that was audited and approved at town meeting. Um, and I have organized so that the auditors um, can start going through the first six months of this fiscal year um, for auditing. The other thing is now that the town approved um, for an outside audit, I am going to get in the works. Yes, it's going to be paid out of next fiscal year, but I can still prepare and get them to see if possibly they'll start working on it before, and then I cut the check after July 1. Have they been notified that it was approved and they can put us on their work schedule? No. Nobody Who does? Who's going to do that? I will. Okay. It's been approved, who's, so. who's work schedule? Oh, the Sullivan and Powers, I think, got the bid. They, they submitted we? a bid. We approved that and bid. And it was voted on at the town meeting. That was the $23,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. But they didn't know they were going to get the work until we got the money approved. So, Correct. Yeah. Right. Which so either you, or John should, either you or John Reed should probably, probably you should contact them. Yeah, it would be, it would be, it would be great it, if you were a point person on that. I don't know what our auditors are planning on touching before. The outside audit. Mm. Um, I'll leave that up to. Probably don't have any. Yeah. Um, so, mm. but yeah, I'll get in touch with John, and if he is more comfortable than me asking, vice versa, we'll I'll get it lined up mm -hmm. either way, and the we'll, the expense will come out of next fiscal year. Um, and there, this is the audit for the this current fiscal year, fiscal year 22. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So what's packed away that the auditors have access to now is is uh, July through December. Mm -hmm. um, and the auditors still do the town report? The auditors did the town report this year, yes. And did, did John do something to... John is, yeah, he's the one that amazingly pulls it together. everything mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And um, he's very computer illiterate as far as um, setting up. So is that sort of a... a can he, can you continue to use that program? He was what? still yes, he's still in for auditor this year. Yeah. The plan is still for that he would be putting the town report together uh -huh. as an auditor. Um, so yeah. Every year it's a little less work because you know the process gets right cleaner. Yeah, right. And yeah. He didn't charge for putting the town report together. Really? Oh, that's no. John. Along yeah. with that's Mark who he is. that does not charge for his. Yeah. His mm -hmm. IT. We need more people like that. Well, those are cri two critical people. Lindsay really? Also donates. Really? He does. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no scowls. Questions for me? Um, you have any questions? Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Brandy. Also, I forgot. Mm -hmm. I transferred 3000 today from the money market over into the checking to cover bills. But that's all. This is the time of year when things start getting a little tight a little because taxes aren't coming in for another six months. Yep. So. Well, not tight, tight. No, but you know, start to. Yeah. 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 But we'll start getting down money in soon. Okay. Um, highway report. Chuck, you there? I am. Hey, Chuck. Hi, yeah. Chuck. How you doing? Great. Good. Yeah. 
Well, the high rate report is that there's a lot of money up there, I guess. There's going to be more. Mm -hmm. It's going it's to yeah. get worse. So I hear you. There's a few things going on. Uh, JPC Card Construction called me today, and they're doing an MSHA class. MSHA is going to come in and teach the guy or explain to the guys what they need to do when they're in the pit with the dump trucks and all that stuff. And um, I think it's very important that they go. It costs 90 bucks a person. It lasts all day. It's going to be in Barton on the 16th of April. So this is where they, they buy the uh, stone from uh, Danville? Is that C card? C card from Barton. Right. Well, he has a pit, he has a, a quarry in Danville. Yeah. And we buy stone from him in Bickford and Menashe, and they're all, uh, uh, M. Shaw uh, oversees them all. They play by the same rules. Hmm? All by the same rules, probably the same person doing the same inspections. <laughs> So I think it's pretty important that we get our guys up there and so that they understand that they need to stay in the trucks when they're being loaded. They need new uh, hard hats that are uh, um, certified and the equipment they need to be so that we're not getting some good fawns. Chuck, what, what kind of stone are we talking about? I'm, a, I'm new Just here. Just ledge. Just ledge. Not granite, well, just ledge. Uh, uh, ditch it's stone, a, crushed just, ledge. Everything ledge. we buy now comes out of a quarry. Yes. So, um, I think it's pretty important that it happens. So you tell them that they need to go. Is that how that works? I've already told them we'll get it all set up. I believe Randy's in the middle of the paperwork. Okay. I just wanted to bring it up before she had to. Okay. And when when, when might that happen? April. April. It's going to be April 16th. Okay. So they hey, Chuck, this is Chris. Um, they don't have a choice. If they, if they want to be in a quarry, mm -hmm. they have to have MSHA qualifications. Uh, yes, I know that. So I don't I really think that this is much of an issue because I can't even well, take, I, I can't take anybody into a quarry. Without right, I didn't think that was going to be an issue. This is more just for your knowledge information. to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We agree. So, oh, I agree. Okay. Okay. Right out. Chuck, anything else that you want to bring up? We lost his voice. It seems like he's muted. He's muted. Oh. There, he's back. Yeah, but it's in You're pretty back. good shape. Yeah, you got to start that over. We missed what you are opening. Oh, uh, on the below pro, they broke a cylinder today on the wing, mm -hmm. and they were going after that this afternoon and get that put on. But other than that, I think the equipment's in pretty good shape. Great, terrific. Um. The previous slap board and I and Dave Upson, the town manager of Hardwick, had talked about doing some work on the uh, Nichols Pond Road because Myers have bought it and they would like to keep the cabins open for snow machines and stuff like that. So Greg and I have been talking about that. We're going to go out and kind of assess what it needs. Uh, Michael checked into it for me. We lost you again. Hmm. Is that... Chuck, can you hear us? <laughs> Is that anybody out there see you? <laughs> I don't think he can see us. I think he can no. just hear us. I can't see any of it. No, he just hears us. All right, go ahead, Chuck. Can you say it again? No. Nope. No. So it's the Wi-Fi. It's our. Yeah. It's our, our Wi-Fi. 
Is this set up with water? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Chuck, can you say that again? Uh, Nichols Road. <clears throat> uh, Myers has approached Hardwick and Woodbury about keeping a road plowed up there because they'd like to rent them camps for snow machiners up through to the Nichols Bond Dam Road. Mm -hmm. Greg and I have been talking about it. We need to go up and assess what it needs. And Mike Gray checked on it for me, and this is going to be out of the town's pocket. It's not included in oh, anything we can get a grant for. We we have a uh, we don't really have a formal class four road policy, but we do have a an informal an class informal. four road yeah. where we require the uh, landowners to pay for the upgrade before we'll put it up <coughs> for maintenance. Well, but. This, I don't believe, is going to get upgraded to a class three. Mm -hmm. It would be a tremendous amount of money. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just bringing this up yeah. because most of you don't know, haven't, haven't known anything about it. And uh, certainly the decision's up to you, but I'm just telling you what we're trying to follow up on. Okay. Is Camp Cahagan... In Woodbury and Hardwick, or no, it's in it, Woodbury. It's all in Woodbury. Yeah. But Hardwick is the one doing the plowing of the road. They own the first probably 300 yards of the road, and Woodbury has the rest. And they're willing to plow it, but they'd like us to maintain it or, or get it fixed so they can get up through there with a 10 wheel dump truck. Mm. Any idea what it's going to cost? I don't know. Uh, this was brought up to me after I got down here in Florida. Greg and I got to go up and look at it. It's, it's going to be tens of thousands. I don't think you, the town definitely can't afford to do it all in one year. I know that. It's, it's mm. going to be really expensive. So the money we, we set aside for class four, man, mm. we did up it this year. We did. Your financial statements don't show. Well, um, we did up it. Don't show. So three thousand dollars. Yeah. Now that's a, that's a culprit, right? <laughs> that's one culprit. <laughs> there, there, yeah. there's been a history in the past where uh, the town was very reticent about upgrading town uh, class four roads. I don't, well, there I, there I, are I so many, and more people are moving on to them and wanting more services. That's why it might be nice if we. To formalize a class four road policy. We but, could consider it. Uh, yeah. Certainly. And but our class three policy is somewhat sketchy. Yeah. As it is. Mm -hmm. I think we would have to work through our well a road mm -hmm. policy overall. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Before we went to the amending a class four policy. Well, I don't I don't so, know if we want to spend the time now, but I no. think it's worth having a discussion right. about this because uh, once you set precedence, that's exactly. the cat's out of the bag. Um, mm -hmm. So now, I wouldn't light a great big fire yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but Chuck, do you, Chuck, do you think that there could be more of these types of roads? I mean, I feel like there are a number of these, quite a number of these through yeah. town where if we start to think about maintaining class four roads in terms of Upgrading. making sure upgrades are kept, it no, no, would make a difference. This, this uh, Nichols Pond Road is not, look, we're not looking to upgrade it. We're just looking to get it where they can get a truck up to well, it. Not, not upgrade to class three, but upgrade to, you know, Upgrade more to keep drivable. it functional. Right. North Road is another one where they are always asking for help. But yep. Yeah, but and but anyway, if just, we could put that one on the back burner for right now, we'd be a lot better off. I wouldn't. I wouldn't open a can of worms on that one right now. Okay. Well, thanks for the information. Thank you, Chuck. Right. So, just on the clarification on the North Road, that's beyond where it, where it is currently maintained. Is that the oh, idea? Are you talking about Nichols Pond now? Yeah. Is that what you, North Road? No, North Road is up by East is, Long. Is it by East Long? The, uh, yeah, the other. What's the road to uh, East uh, East Long? What's that called? North Road. North Road. Oh, that's what I thought. It was just another example of a place to fast <laughs> forward. They're always asking for help. Okay. Well, do we want to bring? Do we want to 
put that on an agenda and said, spend he, some time? I think well, we should put it on an agenda for another meeting. Yeah. Just in terms of um, as policy. Right. right. Would, would that be okay, Chuck, in terms of just reviewing this in terms of policy and... Uh, he said to just put it on the back burner for now. So, oh, I mean, in terms uh, of in terms yeah. of Nichols, yeah. Uh, he's no, right. Nichols. Nichols, not Nichols so much as the North Road. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I think that before we address this, whether it's Nichols or North Road, we should try to figure out a policy. It would be helpful. Mm -hmm. That way, it's not such a big deal. But it's just one person's opinion. Yeah. In my, can I voice my opinion on that one? Yes, please. Yes, indeed. I think you need to go into executive session when you start having that meeting. Oh. Because. <laughs> I'll tell you when I talk to you. Okay. Well, that's, and we'll wait for in you. In executive session. <laughs> we'll wait for you and then have an executive session after you come back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. That'll be like next you don't month. Wanna, you don't want to pile into that all over. <laughs> <laughs> there is history. So, yeah. Um, the other, the last thing I have is Peter Daly was hired on as our third mm. full time employee. Thank you. Yeah. And Greg Adams retired of course so we're down to two employees and our part-time employee which is tim neal is making more money than peter was and some of that is my fault when we hired him when we decided to hire him greg and i talked about it and said we should bump him up a pay grade on i guess it was a state scale and for some reason the state scale is no longer being used. So, but the bottom line is, he feels that seems how he does all the labor and the dirty work and stuff that he should be paid more than the part-time help we have now. And I agree with him 100%. Are we there? Yes. Yeah, we're here still. Okay. So yep. you, you and Greg come I, up with a, a proposal? I have. Greg and I talked about it, and I believe that Peter should be advanced another 50 cents an hour. He's at 7.51 now. Greg, um, Tim is at 7, uh, 7.84 or something like that. Mm -hmm. 17. So it's roughly? 17, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 So I think that Peter should be brought up to $18 an hour. As of today? Um, Retroactive? Yeah. No. Yes? No. Um, I'm sorry. Can I say something? Yeah. Chuck, we're going to let Brandy go for a second. All right? Yeah. Going kind of off subject here. What we budgeted for mm -hmm. was what the old select board decided mm -hmm. on to go with the three percent state mm -hmm. and, and getting rid of our our, our That's chart correct. scale mm -hmm. as right. part of our personnel policy. That's yep. another thing that has yeah. to be sorry <laughs> has to be finalized yeah. and get rid of the pay scale yeah. because you look in our policy now that pay chart's in there yeah. and you don't go by it michael anymore. said it is they did get rid of it in one of the drafts but the draft has never Not been completed. it's yeah. never been completed so the other thing is is that these guys don't have a six month where you bring them before you have executive sessions and say how well are they doing they don't have reviews and they, mm -hmm. that's kind of gotten out, and it, there needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, well, so you can see where can the, Yep. Peter's was waived because he'd already worked for two years. Right. But there is a six month probation period, as far as Greg and I know. But it's, that, very, it's been very laxed where. Well, Peter's was. Peters was waived because he'd been there for two, two years and we knew what he could do and 
he's capable of doing what we need him to do. Mm -hmm. But for other employees, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, it's not going to be lax. So, Brandy, you're saying that they should get a review every year? If you look at our personnel policy, That's what it, says. it does state it. <laughs> okay. It's, and it's who, in the policy. Yeah, and if you've ever mm -hmm. seen Peter, mm -hmm. he busts his butt. Mm -hmm. and he really does. Mm -hmm. Um, and who's we, Kimisabi? That's us, the select board? Yes, you are. We are the, we are the hirers. Well, the, so we, but the road commissioner is the supervisor. of. Mm -hmm. Yep, but it's all of us. But that was kind of okay. dropped because Greg okay. and Chuck came up with a total, and then the select board said, no, we're going to do it this way. And, and that's <laughs> you're talking, you're talking about Peter. What's up? I don't think that happened just like that. Well, no. There was an amount given at the discussion of the hire, and then the select board chose the rate for him off from Tim working here longer versus Peter, and that's how they came up with the 1751, where Timmy's getting maybe 30 cents over because he's been here longer. Yeah, but that's 24, 24, 26 cents yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. But if they was but, abused. Well, if these guys think that <clears throat> think that Peter deserves more, they should have the choice, I think. Well, it does, I mean, we have to approve it. I think, the, right. I think we have to review the policy. Me too. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. But I think we have to just well, review it. Once it's set in stone, because that's what I get kickback is. Right. Because the policy's not set. Employees that are, how come we're not going by this? We didn't know that it was changed. They... So we hand them their policy when they're hired. I hand them it. And in the policy, it states there's the pay chart. And nobody's numbers match that pay chart because it did away with mm -hmm. two years ago. Right. So we, are we talking about all town employees? Just the employees, not so the... So ballot know. clerks go for minimum wage, whatever minimum wage is ballot clerks get. So the pay scale used to be road crew, <sighs> clerk, treasurer, assistants. It, it was based on how long you had been here. That was that. That was that chart was that, that they don't use that, anymore. We don't use that though. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So they are going to get a three percent raise. Because I don't know how I'm supposed to defend what you're getting paid when they're coming to you. You don't saying, have to. Well, I do because mm -hmm. I'm the one that cuts, signs their check. I do <laughs> payroll, um, and they're, it's not going to the church. So my thing is, is sorry, it's in the works and it falls back onto you guys. It's not completed. Because it hasn't been done. I mean, there's select board minutes stating, okay, we're going with three percent raise this year. And that's what we based off the budget for next year. But that has nothing to do with the chart. That's just the ARPA. I mean, the <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> cost of living raise that we give that the town gives every year in addition but, but to the chart. No, 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 not on top of the chart. It's separate. It's separate. That's what I, yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it's separate included, from the chart. Like, right. I can take this change and that three percent and could, put it together. That's right. not what we've been doing. Does it make sense that we all sit down and talk about this at you know, a different time mm -hmm. separately and, and try to get this sorted out so that is is there a way well, the to is, do that? Well, the thing is that we've already budgeted. We've already budgeted for Well, nevertheless. Well, we get, yeah, we get they start July in the 1. Future. So it's something that, yes, the select board has to decide whether they want to increase <clears throat> Peter's pay. Um, I make a motion that we increase Peter's pay by 50 cents. Can we, is that? <laughs> An hour, starting today. Just to move on. So if anybody thinks it's unfair, then we'll keep talking about it later. So for July 1, are we increasing at another step? Another 3%. Not a step, it's 3%. That was, 3 was decided when you did the budget. As of today. The budget meeting that they decided the 3%. You guys have to approve that. So. Well, can I ask, is there, is is there precedent for the this? Does, does the select board do this? It's your, yeah, you hold the basket. In other words, we, so we, we, we approve the increase in pay. You approve oh, everybody's, everybody's pay. Everybody's pay. Solely. We yes. get to the board. Yes. So it, can there be a second to that motion before we? I will we, second that motion. Know? Okay, so now we can, so now we can get talk more about discussion. Yeah. Well, and I just so, would like, personally, I don't know. A better understanding how this is going on, but uh, I guess we, you're comfortable and Chuck's comfortable in terms of how we're doing this. And, and, and Peter is, and P, I mean, Greg, Greg is not complaining about his pay. Chuck is not complaining about his pay. Tim is should be. doing, 
You know, <laughs> I don't know about that. Him and his own complaints, he's cracked on. Okay. He, he should not mm-hmm. have any complaints. No. Okay. No. All I right. Think because Chuck, Chuck and Greg both feel strongly yeah. about this, I think we should just go for it, go for it. And we will work on the personnel policy. And if anybody that gives you... That has to be a priority, I think. Yeah, if anybody gives you any, you know what, you can just send them to the select board. I guess to send them to us. <laughs> well, all I can say personally is having hired and paid a lot of people over my time, if you have somebody good, you want to make sure you, you treat them well and pay them well to, to make sure they stay. So. Especially the way the towns around us are trying to steal our people. Yeah, but and that may be a problem in a way. Yeah. Because no. they pay more other towns? They pay way more. Oh, yeah, well. If we don't do something, that man will be gone. Mm-hmm. Well, we yeah. better start talking. We better talk. And that's why I feel that yeah. you guys had a time you can sit down with him. and. Mm. It's just yeah. more personal, and you're the one setting it. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. and, and we should be prepared for the next, you know, b- budget. Mm-hmm. Then we're we're covering all of this. But anyway, I, mm-hmm. okay. I mean, uh, vote on. Yeah, let's vote on the. Uh, more? Did you make that motion? I made a motion. Yes. Okay. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Anything else, Chuck? Fifty cents an hour more. Right? That's correct. 50 cents an hour more. All right. Can I throw another thing in the pot and just do as of Sunday? Because it's Sunday to Saturday. Yes, yeah, but please. this is a whole week. Oh, well, Sunday. It's Sunday to Saturday. Like two yes, days, yes, days like before yesterday. Yes, okay. Yes, All right. Yes, yeah, fine. Yeah, that's yeah, 50 cents increase. Let's do a, a, a full and 3% week. 3% on July 1. We can talk about retroactive. And I guess as far as a road report, that is... About all I have, unless you have questions or other thoughts or whatever. I'm hoping at some point before summer, we'll sit down with you probably when you come back, Chuck. Mm-hmm. Just we need an overview of all the projects that are in the works. Oh yes, and that's uh, one of the things. I'm glad you said that. The the survey has done been done on Winston Moore's Hill up there. Mm-hmm. Where is that? That's a wicked corner. No, I mean, where's the survey itself? If someone wanted to see it. He's gone again. (laughs) Oh, that's it. There. (sighs) Gone again. I said, uh, I would like to uh, get working on getting the, the... Diana, could you stop clicking your pen? <laughs> that always bothers you, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're so sensitive. Do we want to oh, the <laughs> lost the phone, yeah. put them on yeah. the speaker? Oh, man. Can I make uh, a it's, No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had gone with the owl. Can't. Was that no? You can't hear me. Yeah, oh, no. maybe got you back for a second. Yeah, yeah, you're back. Can... Okay. Um, the survey on Winston Moore's Hill has been done, and I'd like to get that right away recorded so we can start getting that laid out and figure out who is going to do, where we're going to get the money from to do it. Hmm. Okay. Um, what we need a PTTR for that also. We have. We would to. have a deed. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know what the plan is, so I can't say. If there's a piece of land that's being transferred right. in title to the town, then it'll have to go through a deed it has and to a PTTR. A deed and PTTR. And that's another. And and also the other. Five hundred dollars. This will do that. The, the the road that's being abandoned, does that have to also tra- be transferred back to the Macelles? Yes, uh, it does. Hmm. That's right. Yes, it does. They want to lay them back. Yeah, I mean, that's right. I mean, if they're, yeah. They're transferring a title. Mm-hmm. Could someone, see, where, where could one see the copy of the survey? I'm not sure. Michael told me it was done, and I don't know if he had a copy of it or. Oh, okay. Is there anything that. in the town clerk's office, Robin? I haven't seen anything. Do you, do you, do you know who, who did the survey? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, 
What's her name? Oh, lady from Cabot. Sunrise Surveying. Lisa, Lisa Jeanette. She's coming in tomorrow. Mm. She's scheduled. Mm. I should <laughs> Actually, Brandy, if you could give me a call when she was there, I'd like to talk to her a minute. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. <laughs> All right. But um, Dave and Laura are all gone home. I'm getting it done. So I don't think there's any danger of changing your mind, but I would like to take advantage of it while we can. But is that another thing that we have to find money for? No, it's a title. Uh, the survey is all paid for. Uh, no, I mean the project. It in our name. Yeah. But the project itself. Well, yes. Still looking for money for that? Yes. Oh. But... Um, and I don't remember what Michael called it, but it's something to do with the hydraulic or water load on. There is a, it's a hydraulically or it's runs grant for. There's a grant that we have Hy two we, we, hydrologically connected. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> so hydrologically connected surfaces and drainage areas are eligible for a series of grants. Oh. And this would count. Great. It's deep. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. So that has to be applied for? We would have to apply for it. Yeah. Yep. And we need the survey to do that. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I believe the survey needs to be recorded before you can do that. For That's a, absolutely true, sir. I agree. Once the survey is recorded, we can yeah. consider applying for a grant. Yeah. Has, has she been paid? It was donated. It it was still Somebody else already paid for it. So I'm hoping she'll bring it in tomorrow. If not, I can talk to her about it. Getting a copy for the town. Mm. Somebody paid for the survey? I thought that's what you had said. That it was all paid for no. and done. No, the town was going to pay for that. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So the uh, next step would involve hiring an engineer to do a design? Well, the next step is get it in our name so that we can what lay out where the room wants to be, and then we can start talking to an engineer. Yeah, there, there's a couple of steps before okay. we can actually hire somebody. Yeah. So, and then we would apply for the grant before going ahead with the project. We have to get a general plan for the project, mm -hmm. and then we can apply for the grant because we have to submit something before mm -hmm. we can apply for the grant. Cool. Oh, okay. Question. Miss Brandy. Pick your brain. Typically, does Gillies, or, or does Gillies do our PTT hours? No. If we needed a land transfer with a deed and stuff, I wouldn't go to him. I would go to my, uh, Chris. Chris Green. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. That was just a question. I didn't think he had done it. Um, no, no. Any proper transfers for us? They do some, but he does a lot of. Chris is deeds. much more reasonable. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, he does a lot of uh, volunteer work for us too. So. Anything else, Chuck? Uh, just that we're leaving here on. I think it's the 17th of April. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 21st and 22nd, we should be home. Great. So if you want to have a face-to-face uh, -face meeting or whatever executive session, I should be home in time mm -hmm. to, before anything really gets started. Okay. Right. Thanks, Chuck. You want to stay on for a minute? Yeah. We were going to talk about... Oh, go ahead. Uh, you, is Chuck all done? No. He's listening. We're not done with the road stuff. Oh, okay. There's something about hiring Michael Gray. I was wondering if you're just going to pass it. No, that's what, that was what I was going to oh, bring okay. up next. Okay. Yeah. So we had talked, and you had talked, we talked with you about hiring Michael. But more hours than he currently puts in for as a road administrative assistant to help the rest of us come up to speed on everything. Are you still here, Chuck? Yeah. I am. <laughs> okay. So you guys, we've talked about that, right? Not me. But here we have. What do you mean? Yeah. I was never here before talking about that. No, you haven't talked. We didn't talk about hiring Michael Gray? Not Mike. No. Over email we didn't. But. <laughs> okay. 
Right? Well, anyways. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've seen it, but I haven't, yeah. I haven't heard it okay. or discussed it. But I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I just. Uh, he's in a lot of, yeah. He's in the middle of a lot of ongoing projects that. Yeah. You and I know nothing about. I, yeah. Well, you know about the beavers, I hope. <laughs> that yeah, that's different. The beavers is separate. He's still going to continue to do the beavers, but that's a separate pay item. <laughs> So he was hoping to get us to tell him a little bit like what we were expecting of him and so on, but... Can this all wait know. until Chuck's comes up and we can all have a... Well... How soon do we have to get this resolved, Chuck? We don't. We, he doesn't. It's not really oh, up to Oh, I him. don't think there's any big deal about getting it resolved. I just want to keep everything... I, I want you people to keep it in the back of your mind so oh, that yeah. we can move it on it. It's yeah. teed up, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anything um, else? As far as hiring Michael to help out with the grants and stuff like that, I think it's a great idea. Thank you. I I tend to agree. He has a really he has a knack for being able to write these, mm -hmm. and he already has a lot of grants in progress. It seems like it would be nice to have Michael involved in. And continue to be involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he would, I mean, he's already in uh, the payroll for a couple of different things. One is the Beavers, and one is the Road Administrative Assistant, it's called, or Highway Assistant, highway or something assistant. like that. Yeah. So we do need to have a new position. It would just be slightly expanding what he's already been doing for nothing as a select board member. Well, some of it he was getting paid for, but a lot of it he Mostly was doing not. for nothing as a select board member. Right. And uh, he agreed that he'd like to stay at five up fifteen dollars and forty five cents an hour that he's been making. So. Well, you want to hold off on that? As a, as a motion? No. Well, you just said you want to wait. Well, I was thinking about the coordination with 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 uh, Chuck, but uh, oh. as far as his being, you know. Um, Hired. I, I don't have any problem with oh, that. Oh, okay. Well, I'll make the motion then. Okay, well, I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Great. Right. 15.45 an hour. Yeah. They're worth every penny. I don't think and he's going to go overboard. <laughs> well, he doesn't go overboard. <laughs> yeah. Anything else, Chuck? Uh, no, I don't think so. <clears throat> Okay. Hey. Well, we'll, we'll have we'll have one more uh, meet, meeting before you head north. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. One or two. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. All right. And Thanks, Chuck. You, you all have a good night and welcome to the board. Hopefully, we can make some good stuff happen. <laughs> With your help. Yes. Team effort. Yeah, we're going to re rely on you a lot. Well, okay. that's what I'm here for. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll do my best. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. You folks have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye Chuck. Bye. Bye. We're, we're a little late in our agenda, aren't we? We are a bit Whoops. late. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first agenda. What? <laughs> What's that? Yeah. We were supposed to beat that half an hour meeting like we had last time. <laughs> Uh, that, that, Skip. Was, that was a weird one. <laughs> ARPA. Skip, you're up. No, ARPA's nope. next. Where's ARPA? No. ARPA committee 635. update. 635. Oh, this is an old one. town plan. Oh, well, that's, yeah. Actually, I switched it because a couple meetings ago, Laura asked if they could be on earlier because they have kids at home. So and I Laura's it. sick. And, and Skip was... Skip can stay out late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, ARPA. Thank you. So, we <laughs> have met a number of times by the old so previous select board. Um, uh, I'm not really sure what update means. I can tell you one of our... Uh, uh, I've got so much going on in my brain. Um, so, we have an application that we've come up with. Oh. We have a survey that we've come up with. We really want to involve as many Woodburyans in this mm -hmm. process as possible. Um, 
one of the holdbacks of releasing the application is wondering from you guys a little guidance on due dates of the application. Should the, one of the things that we talked about was having, trying to figure out how we could do like a rolling due date, because I think that this information is slowly going to get leaked out. I don't mean leaked out, mm -hmm. but it, it's hard to get as many people on board. It, it's like somebody, when, when you guys were all being selected and we were meeting, one of the people in town had no idea that we had a pre-town meeting. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know that that was a thing. So I want as many people to know that this ARPA money is a thing and mm -hmm. that we want people's input on that mm -hmm. because I think the ARPA's goal is to try and make sure that as many people benefit from this money. It's a wicked lot of money. So can I quickly ask, Please. the survey, will that be such that it will be sort of prioritizing how, what people want? Yes, yes. So I don't have a copy of it, um, unfortunately, and I can't get another copy of it because when I looked through it, it considered me have, having taken the survey. So oh. now I can't log back in it. I know. So be working really careful oh. when you... Right. So that's kind of a giant... Is that a survey one. monkey kind of thing? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. so Tara, one of our board members, Tara Rogerson, <laughs> is putting the survey together. And it... Is really good, but we feel like there's some tweaks that we mm -hmm. need to make to it, and that to do the free survey, Mikey, you can only, you're only allowed ten questions. Right. Oh. So that's tough to come up with ten questions to try and encapsulate how do we spend, right, like two hundred and fifty plus do we thousand have a dollars. Survey Monkey account. Anybody? No. I think it was just that one time shot, and Laura did it. For us. Yeah, we never, okay. we, we never, we never had a formal account. So that right you, you, the survey is going to go for both both uh, ARPA distributions. Then that will set that will set the disbursement for both. Uh, in other words, you're going to get half, and then you'll get another half later. Right. Like already, the town has half of the two hundred and fifty thousand. Right now, there's one hundred and thirty-one thousand roughly available. That's already in our coffers. That's mm -hmm. ready to be dispersed. Which we have decided Sorry. not to spend. Well, no, we've started spending. We've started it. spending some of it that it's was approved. Right. 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 right, right, right. Which wait, wait ARPA knew, right? That that was our. Can you? Can you uh, I'm new on this. What equipment? The equipment this that's this here. Equipment. That's that equipment. Yes. Yeah. This stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that Michael set up, so that the, that equipment can also come to ARPA meetings. Can also go to any other of the town meetings. Mm -hmm. This equipment. We'll go and record all of that for everybody to have that open door transparency. Yeah. So that's why, and ARPA was. Mm -hmm. My question, your survey, you can only take that online? You won't have a paper copy in case somebody doesn't have a computer? We could, and I feel like we should. I don't know how we would administer that or where. Maybe have copies of the town clerk's office where yeah. they could do it? Or, no. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Yes. Just screenshot the survey itself on Screen Monkey. Send it to me. Right, shop, and then I can just make copies, and, and we can get the word out that there. Have you talked with skipping all about surveying or looked at the planning commission? <laughs> they did a extensive survey. I would like to talk theirs? to them again because mm -hmm. it, it, it seems like they've done. I don't he think did a, wants to reinvent the wheel. He did an online survey, and then there were complaints, and so he had to go back and do it again and mail it. Tough people. If you need help, just give me a call. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. so we may reach out and ask yeah. you to come to our next meeting again. Yeah. The, the biggest giveaway or takeaways that we've taken so far from working with Katie and Grace, who, forgive me, Vermont League of Cities and Towns and Regional, Regional Planning Commission. Thank you. Those two ladies. <laughs> it was really informative. It was a great meeting. It seemed like a lot of people attended. Mm -hmm. It was videoed and all that. Um, their biggest takeaways were take your time, spend it right, you don't want to have to repay it. Mm -hmm. At first we were given like the set of guidelines that we were supposed to go by, but now it seems like that poof, I don't, I don't go. Just yeah. spend it yeah. on what do you want, hey, here we go, what do you I want? Don't, I don't so, think they expected towns to hold on to it as long as they have been holding <laughs> on to the money. Well, because everybody's afraid that we're going to spend it wrong and then going to end up having to pay yeah. it back. Right. Right. But the, the things that were logistic of, yes, you could at the first, I mean, those are still there. Yes. Have you received any applications? We have not really because we're having, we, we sort of sent out one and we sort of sent out a broad call of mm -hmm. 
So the fire department has sort of sent in, but we're not really, we're kind of disregarding that mm -hmm. only because it, I feel like, uh, we feel like the application should be adhered to. So nobody has actually filled out an application mm -hmm. yet because we're waiting to figure out what the due date should be. <laughs> and I think we need a little guidance from you guys because, so, and how is the money going to be dispersed? And do, so the criteria for for this got really changed from what was originally proposed. To just about like a just like, open, like, like yeah, what it do you was want very open, yeah, it was yeah. open season. Yeah. 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 The, the very much loosely right. yeah. and, and saying that it's very much more loose, <laughs> we still want to be careful on how we spend it because we really don't want to get caught with our pants down and end up having to to pay it back. You know, I, well, I who, who, excuse that's... me. Who who would who would uh, question or 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 you know? It's the the federal. The federal the IRS is the one that's going to come to me when the money's gone, and I have to explain paper yes. trail copies of everything. Yes. Who has one? And, and it, like, what do you call the fiduciary or what? It, you're yeah. like our link oh, to no. because I'm the town. Because yeah, yeah, I guess you are the town. My part. signature yeah. on the yeah. line. Yeah. 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 But so, now that there's no standards. Yes, sir. Well, well, no, they really aren't. They're, 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 they're quite, not really. They're I mean, quite loose. It's a pretty, you can right. connect the dots pretty freaking easily. They're quite loose. Um, but so we just want to make sure that we're on the right track for you guys and that we're doing the right thing and we're going in the right direction. What is it that you want from us? So we're going to continue with the application process. Mm -hmm. Can you give us guidance on the application mm -hmm. dates? Your uh, partner has something to say. You do? Please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 One of the, the woman that's in charge of the ARPA that we talked to on video um, on conference, she said the plans were safe as far as paybacks um, if you spent it on the town. She said you could spend it on the town in any way you want. She said, but as far as spending it, personally on people like say helping you know, businesses or helping anybody yeah. personally mm -hmm. whether it be one or a business mm -hmm. she said she did not advise to do that mm -hmm. because she said there's all kinds of other programs she said there is a ton of programs she said they have a whole list she said try to keep this money spending it on the town mm -hmm. and one of my questions to her because we don't own the property on this building next to the old store right we were talking about fixing that up and we we're really worried because we don't actually own land you know we could lose that building that it'd have to be a really bad situation. Okay, it's, a it's a long it's a long term it's a long term it's a long term lease. Correct. Right. So we were we worried. Don't I mean we want to the building needs some work. Okay. Who who who's the lessor on in that situation? The lessor the, the town owns the building, the people who own the store own the land on the land. And all right. the, the, land the, the, the the defunct store? Yeah. Yeah. So we were worried store. about fixing that building because it does need some work so we can have maybe these meetings over there. So I asked them from the state about it and we explained the situation with that land and she said absolutely and we were really worried about putting money and she goes, no, that's not a problem. She goes, you guys can fix that building. I mean, it got that lax on the spending mm -hmm. money. That well, lax, I think, I think that, that lax. I think it would have been allowed for the, anyway. For the state. Mm -hmm. She said what she told us pretty much mm -hmm. in a nutshell, you were there, Right? You weren't there, Ted? So anyway, she said, just like she just said, too many towns are not spending this money because there was way too much gray area. Mm -hmm. So they said, you know what? You make sure the towns spend this money, try to keep it in the towns, mm -hmm. and just spend it. They want it spent. They want it to boost the economy. They want to get mm -hmm. things going. Mm -hmm. And the feds are like, we gave out all this money. Why is mm -hmm. things aren't happening here? Mm -hmm. So they just, the rules pretty much went out the window, mm -hmm. just so you know what's going yeah. on. So the application that we have come up with has been submitted to those two ladies, and they have mm -hmm. both reviewed it and are fine mm -hmm. with the application that we put together. Mm -hmm. um, again, I feel like I'm stuck on, but I need clarification on due dates. When do you want the applications? How do you want them submitted? Do you want them submitted every year as we get them? Do you want them submitted once a month? Do you want them, how quickly do you want to disperse this? If any inclination as to the original ask from the fire department, if we give them everything they want, that initial, 
it's a wicked lot of money. And while I'm okay with it, I don't feel like one mm -hmm. institution should be given all of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's two hundred and fifty thousand plus dollars, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to repeat the number because I don't know exactly what they've asked for. And until we get an actual mm -hmm. application, and I even feel like you guys or you guys should submit one for things that have already been bought. Mm -hmm. I think we want to keep that paper trail as mm -hmm. clear and as evident as we possibly can. <laughs> Uh, and we're ready to get this out there along with the survey. Well, with the, we're going to meet Wednesday, I think, and we're going to tweak the survey a little bit. Mm. But until we know due dates and how do we tell people, like, how to move, how do you do a rolling due date? Is that even possible? What do you yeah. So I watched your uh, March 3rd meeting. And you were really talking a lot about, well, the select board is going to make the decision anyway. That came right. up a lot. It did. And, and, and that's where I personally am fearful that what I'm doing is so, going to be a waste of my time. Because so, we're going to get all of these applications in, right. and we're going to do all the footwork, and we're going to put them to you in order that us five people have decided from top to bottom of importance. But what we're afraid of is you're we're going to buy a already truck. had your maid. Right, you've already got your mind made, and it doesn't matter what we've done. Well, but, that's, but, that's but, the, I mean, but wait a minute. That's how we feel. Wait a minute. But, or but, I feel as a member but of you're that doing, group. you're going to be doing a survey, so we're going to look to the town's people to weigh in on this. Yes. That, and I think that's critical, absolutely critical. Yes. And, and so until we get that, Okay. I mean, we can set up a timeline, but we ought to get on that survey pretty quickly okay. and, and send it out. And I would say, I think you should mail it to all, all residents of, of Woodbury. Paper, uh, too? What's that? Paper? Survey, too? I, I, Is that going to, do we, are we allowed to spend the ARPA money for the paper survey? <laughs> I don't know why not. I, I'm, I'm well, I do, that's what, I, I don't want to get caught, again, I, yeah, I, saying, but, I don't want to get caught with my pants down and somebody no, be like, nip, nip, Well, nip. I don't want to get, see you with your pants down either, so, um, but uh -oh. the, uh, <laughs> the, I think the th best thing is, is to, 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 to get a move on this, so come up with some questions if you yep. need help from us or whatever, but let's get that out to the open and, and, and see what people are, what are thinking about. I mean, you know, there are a lot of, a lot of stuff is going on that's, that's, that, we, we may not all know about mm -hmm. Robin. Right. Now, would this survey also go out to like the summer campers? No. I don't think so. I think it's the residents, and I, but that would be good enough. And, one per and, and, and one per voter checklist. Tax and per, and, tax per, tax and tax one per household, not not to all the. They're not, not a resident. Yeah. Say that again. They're not a resident. They're not taxpayers, one. but the voter checklist, one per household. Voter yeah. checklist? Yeah. One per household. Okay. Okay. Carol, do you have a question? Yeah. I do. One of the reasons that we're here tonight is we didn't know if you guys had you know some small projects or some small things that you want to I mean before we get into the survey right did you already have did you already have some low-hanging fruit that you already your last spent on. board you know probably had a few small things like well we could use a little money for this mm -hmm. or a little money for mm -hmm. that you know, we kind of want to know what your thoughts are on that. Well, the too. only thing that comes up to mind right away is the cemetery commission. You know, they 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 wanted, and they I think we approved it. Money. Huh? They just, they've got tons they of money. Yeah, I know. They just got approved for. Plus, they've got a, a ton of money, money in there. Twenty some odd thousand. Yeah, but that's what's approved. We want to know is you know, approved. 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 And I saw you say that you were looking for some guidance from the board. Yes. Yes. And I yes. don't know what kind of guidance you got from the last board, but I think you your task should be to come up with some criteria. For example, do you want the, something that helps the people of Woodbury, something that helps the most people of Woodbury, or just yes. a few people of Woodbury, something that reduces the taxes? Is that going to be one of your criteria? or improve services or maybe does something that we couldn't ordinarily afford to do. Yeah, I think it should be your job okay. to come up with the criteria so that when the applications come in, no matter when they come in, you know, you probably don't want to, if you start taking them in next month, you probably will take a look at them maybe in June. And uh, this is just an example. First. This is strictly just an example, but you now have a road that Chuck just talked about that needs some work. You know, a little bit of this money can be used, just to, that's an example, it's mm -hmm. just a suggestion. Mm -hmm. But there's some money that's taxpayers. If you guys decide that the town has to pay for that, mm -hmm. 
the taxes won't have to go up because mm -hmm. you know you got that money there put a little bit into that road just mm -hmm. an example but mm -hmm. it still could be done you know little projects like that that building in the town mm -hmm. needs to, the insulation needs to be ripped out of the roof because it's I you're talking about the, the town hall? The town, the town hall. hall. And do some a little work on that. Are that you going to do that from the top the or the bottom? Yeah, yeah, right. inside. Yeah, so think, well, yeah. How does, the, how does the, the town clerk and board feel about digitizing the town clerk's yes. office? I feel like the ARPA money needs to be kind of brought our town clerk's office up into a current to make... Uh, the world is going digital. The world is going fiber. Yeah, the world is yeah. going... Yeah, and nothing so. to say that COVID is behind us. No, now. no. They're trying to make us believe we're in the endemic end of it, but there's no... It's going to pop it up and back, head back up. They're, right. they're, so I feel like by digitizing the town clerk's office, if that's something that you guys want to submit an application for, those Thank funds you. should be allocated. For and that uh, sounds great. That's there was a lot of talk about fiber. Yeah, and I think that, is that really worth the way to go? Because I feel like well, it's, 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 it's going to happen it's, anyway. It's, they're, it's, they're continuing to put high speed down the road. Correct. That's, and and, and I, I don't think we should be spending a lot of money to, to try to get something in advance of that. So right. as far as the town hall, especially... Uh, I know Skip came up with a proposal, um, but um, uh, anyway, I, I just think that's uh, personally. I really think we should think about revitalizing downtown Woodbury. As much as we Shandy's is going to be closing soon. Right. So is that where the new store is going to go? Uh, anything. You have I mean, any idea how much work you'd have to do to that? Get that greasy gas out of there. And then I don't know if you guys know, but they put out a. Facebook, they're closing yes. April 1st. Yes. They put a what? April 1st. They're closing? They're closing. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, wow. They just announced it this wow. today. Today. So there's another yeah. hit to our, our mm -hmm. beautiful little downtown. That's, and I know that our that's town the rest of our, commission. That's the rest of our downtown. Right. And the commission. And now that the little green space, you, we put it that you can't even build there, so there's no place in downtown Woodbury to even put a store. But so you, have existing, you have existing buildings. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but what are we revitalizing? Well, uh, you got a non-functioning church. A Methodist church is not functioning. We don't right. own that, though. Well, that, that's, that, that's, that, 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 I mean... But why do we want to? Why would we I mean, want to buy perhaps you can, we could church? turn that into some kind of usable social space. Who knows? I was going to say, there's been many towns town that have taken a church and turned it into a store. And so what's the bathroom yeah, situation is, there? Is that part of no, the that, town that that would, that, you, Anything would down there, you're going to have to put a tight tank in. I mean, that's... Mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's right there, Yeah, the town's right the state's never mm -hmm. going to allow that. But just, so, well, the no. state the state already has. I mean, uh, that's what the town hall has, is a tight tank. So anyway, all this discussion, this is, this is what we're this is, here asking. Right, this is what we're asking. Is, what you know, you guys have a lot of input, more than we've gotten. I think that just normal people in the town, this is what we're after. I feel like once you have the survey, okay. then then we can help. Okay. But if everybody um, says they want a store, right? you know, that's... that's, that's, <laughs> what, that's, that's there, what I, I thought there was a survey or something in terms of the downtown. There was quite a... quite a. Uh, where did that come well, from? When we started this, the, oh, the, that was the planning your commission survey. tried that and had lots of hiccups and flip-flops. I get I'm putting words in your mouth and I vote. But... When we want to do that survey, we are going to look to the Planning Commission. Because like I said at the beginning of this, we're not into reinventing the wheel. Right. We're here very much in the vein of trying to make Woodbury attractable, right? And we want to use this money to affect us. I don't know if that's the right. Woodbury but residents help get primarily. As much here, people, right? yes, and get as much input from people. Uh, maybe... It does the library. The library hasn't been able to have pie breakfast for two years. That's does the COVID. library need some money? COVID. Does yeah. P PTO or Friends of Woodbury Elementary, they haven't had any fundraisers. Do they need some money? Do you know what I mean? Like, we need these mm -hmm. Elizabeth yeah. Stratton and her amazing brain and yeah. the things that she comes she up just with. Does, it. does she need any money? Because she's so. got these amazing things that every single or 52 kids or however many we have now. Every one yeah. of those kids yeah. benefits from her enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if she needs money, then the ARPA money is there for her. So, or not her, but it should be used. Right. For the greater good. Well, we should move on, but do, you, do your save here if you need some more info from us, but I think you've got a, a, an idea of where we're going, and I think getting that out as soon as possible yeah, is critical. I, think, I agree. I think okay. that whatever state the survey is in, Moving forward quickly, I think we're going to try and meet. It'll be shortly warned, but we are going to try and meet on Wednesday. But we were kind of holding 
I understand. And get out of the agenda and stuff warned. Yeah. Yeah. I think the survey is nice, but I think your group should should Just come up with some general values that, by which you're going to rank okay. these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make some okay. calls. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to get down to specifics. You know, I think well, Skip has his hand up and then thing will. Brandy. So I just have a question on distribution of funds. Thank you, yes. Does it have to go through the SAM? SAM is system oh, of accounts. Not that I know of. For, I have to report to the IRS yeah. quarterly. So I, yeah. as of April, I have to report to them what I've spent on, on this gadget. Yeah. So system of accounts is a federal I, agency I, I that don't the believe. town is enrolled in for any grant money that comes from the federal government. So I don't know if opera funds fall into that same category as grant money. It That's has. an interesting question. That we have to go through. Yeah. Brady and I are in the process of updating. Renewing, yeah. it, renewing it. It doesn't the seem. Change it, in, it, it know, doesn't. Who's responsible in the town now since the select board has changed. So. It doesn't appear that it goes through that. I don't think so. I haven't seen anything, I haven't seen anything about ARPA that. discussing yeah. SAMS. It seems like it's an independent. Well, fun. I'll find out. So, yeah. I'll take a look. if you on, don't want to take a look, Skip, that'd be great. On Thank your you. survey, you yeah. want a due date? Yes, I want to do our application and our survey. Select board. Choose the date. Yes, please. So they don't respect. have it yet, and they don't know how to send it. How you're going to send it out? So With if you have a goal right? for, um, if you want a goal, well, we need. Sir, we would have. We would have a 30-day window, right? Right. For responding to the survey. For responding to the oh, survey. Yeah. Really. So. Okay. I'm just going to go 30-day window. So let's make a 30-day window. Days well, how People much time do you need? How much time do you need to get this together before right. that survey goes out? So we you, you meet once once a month, right? Or how often we're, do you meet? We're pretty much meeting this we'll meet more often, but can you meet before the end of, the, of March? We're going to meet this Wednesday. This Wednesday. So hopefully we can nail the details on the survey this Wednesday. Get it published. Get it. Can we email it to you and you yeah. can print it off? Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Um, oh, it's all, right. it's for the town. Right. Yeah. So if you give her a date, then they can slap then it on can, the survey. You can put it on the survey. And poof. It'll be done. And there's so one thing about, you know, this this thing can be in two halves, too, you know? Well, Maybe you can two harpers, or? Well, we, this we survey can money. be now, but then, you know, what is we it? don't have all the money. Yeah, in August, <laughs> we get another check. So if you miss this boat. This yeah. be some, the same yeah. thing. Right. Yeah. So yeah. you have It'll a your entire opportunity because we right. have and, the first wave of money. Is it about three years you have time to it has to yes. be spent? Yes. 2027. Yeah. Uh, 27. 27. Yeah. 27, yeah. Is, 27 is our deadline. Is so <coughs> if we can finalize the survey this Wednesday, which is the 16th, yeah, we, like get we can moment. get it in people's hands into your yep. office by, yep. say, the 17th. You have to figure out how you're going to tabulate it, too. If you're not doing the survey monkey. I don't foresee there being... Maybe 50 applications, if that. I don't oh, see it being. Yeah. Like, this this isn't for applications. This is just. So, so many people. I want all those 220 on. people that right. are meeting accessible. So let's try like for. It. Let's try for the 7th of April. And they don't for have what? to have a. They, a you don't have to give them the survey month to turn it around. Just, just getting it out. Just getting it out. You know they can. Just getting it out by right now. Is that what you're saying? Right. No. To receive it. To receive it. Oh. Because if we can get it. That's only like two weeks. Yeah, that doesn't. Oh, sorry, the fourteenth. I, I apologize. Okay. The fourteenth of April. Fourteenth yeah. for what? Receipt. Mm -hmm. For them to for it to be come back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah and I would say uh, time is of the essence. There's something on this survey saying this is absolutely critical. It's federal money. We need to know what to do with it, and you've got to get back to us. And the girl that we talked to, she did encourage to get. Me. Yeah. She said, yeah. let's get this money out. Well, we... Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, can I make a suggestion? Yes, ma'am. Please. In, in April the 25th, the board meets, and if they can review the applications at that time. Ooh. We're not going to be reviewing the applications, but... You make the decision you on the applications. But you, but, have yeah, but you have to decisions. go through them. Yes. Sir. I mean, right. first so, you've got your survey, and then you're going to have to have at is, least time for applications. Which is good, because if we, we took will. the... If we use the 14th, that gives us... More than a week. But right. that's, 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 that's just a survey. Yeah. That's, that's just that's a survey. That's not oh, for the gosh. application. You're right. You got I mean people are working on their applications already, I assume, the people who have the ideas. People who know about it, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well and they're they they're working on it but they don't have an actual because right. I think we should be sticklers as far as 
we have to make some firm actual, deadlines. Actual application right. yeah. from you guys for that stuff, from the yeah. fire department, for mm -hmm. what they want, mm -hmm. from whomever. Mm -hmm. we, again, because, God forbid, we spend it wrong. We want to be able to prove that. Just as a side it note, uh, there was a mention of a, t a town beach, I think, that I've that seen. That would be awesome. Well, that came before the Woodbury Fund as an idea, and it, be, it, it became very clear that unless you have a, 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 a town beach that's open, and if it's secluded, you're, you're looking at trouble because people will go down there and trash it and do whatever. And, and I think that's, that's a really valid issue. Uh, I mean, look at East Long and other places where that's happened. I'm sure that's happened at Curtis and other places. So, I had another, sorry to interrupt, but before I, I had another townsperson approach me and ask me if ARPA money could be used for revitalizing the uh, the town well, the town pump, the town... Oh, that's what? quite a state. Oh, the water tub. Thank you, the water tub. The water tub. What's wrong with that? state owns that. That's a state. What's wrong with that? People that's, love that. It's ratchet. It just needs to be... It needs to be up clean. a little bit, for they, lack of a better word. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It just needs to be... We like to see those... Uh, well, let's not, let's out not out get into these. This I'm just saying that that's, yeah, yes, that's, yes, yeah. but that's and, and, and if you have if you need help with a survey, a get in touch with us. But I think that. and I think you can generalize. I don't think you have to say you know this building or that. You know, <coughs> just generalize. What would you like to see happen in Woodbury? How do you want to see this money? And how is it going to be spent? How do you want to spend it? I don't it? want anybody mad at me. Yeah, well, some, just some general questions no, no, about values, and then ask you know if people have some specific yeah. things they want to point yeah. out. All right, yeah, like that. Do, and you're fine with whatever we come up with for the survey, or do you, if you want have, to unless you th unless you think that you need some input? Yes, no, you go go for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys are a uh, mm -hmm. uh, committee. Yeah, yeah, and I think by the select board. To it. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. One of the questions, Laura, if I hope I get it right. Um, so, like, if a person were to come forward and say, "I need money because I wasn't able to work for two years, and now." And forgive the analogy, but I'm just going with it. Uh, my septic tank is overflowing, and I'm screwed, and I haven't made any mortgage payments, and I this and I that, and I need help for that. There's programs for that. So There's programs in yeah. place for that. Right. So, and so who that's do a, we? That's a no. you not, is it up to us to discover what those programs are? To no, no, no. You're just going to say there's going to be no personal uh, uh, gain on this, or you know, this isn't going to any person or whatever. It's, okay. not, it's all for it, the general the well -being for the general for the public well-being. Right. And so over. that person can find further resources. Yes. And again. I think even in the ARPA stuff that we've been given by Katie and Grace, they gave us different Same. avenues that we could give to people. Mm -hmm. So I just want to, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so not for maybe round two, two or whatever, but let's see where we for, go with round absolutely one. not for personal gain. Not for bad. So are we certain on the, are we all clear on the dates? Do we all understand the dates? We'll uh, meet with them on Wednesday. We'll finalize it. We'll get it to you on Thursday with, by God's grace, and then have everything back in and finalized. Hopefully we'll put on the application. We want the... Uh, and we're going to wait until the 25th to... to, to the weekend. Uh, is that what we're doing in April, waiting for the 25th meeting to approve? No, we're not going to approve any. Yeah. We're not going to approve anything yet. Give people some weeks to put their right. applications if we're together. We're going to put the well, survey up by the 18th. We're, uh, we'll be looking for the results back by the 14th, so that will give us time to review them and give survey results to you guys, hopefully by the 25th. So you're going to let people have a whole month to fill yeah. out this little survey? I think, don't you know you don't want to give people time? I, I think, it'll just I think they'll the just cracks. put it aside. Mm -hmm. Two weeks? Yeah, I would give it two weeks. Okay. I think a couple of weeks is probably it's our. It's still going to take weeks. a while to get. Okay. Well, to get as long as we distribute it, we're not going to be spending any money for a while. <laughs> right. As long as it's distributed correctly. Yeah, yeah. and you can say time is. Uh, this is federal money. Time is of the essence. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Because the application that we have, it just we don't want to get so wordy. No, 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 no. Want to make it no, no, very, no, very, no. very brief. Yeah. You want to keep them right. entertained. You want to keep them. You might want to start using words. People get you might want to so now, what is the date that they have to have the survey back? Okay. So I think we're gonna do. Uh, if they put it. So if we're done with it by the seventeenth and give it to, uh, why am I in February, March? Uh, we're done with it on the sixteenth. We give it to you for the seventeenth. We put a due date back for the thirty-first because that's like no. almost two weeks. That's, that's yeah. That's, that's ten days. Good. 
It's just a survey. Yeah, it's not like after the 31st yes. of So then what? Then afterwards. Of then March. they have to... Then we'll have time survey. to review them and check them over. Blah, 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 blah. Get your applications out. Oh, right. And Get the applications out as soon as possible and have as much information as we can give to you so, for the 20th mm -hmm. as possible. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you... Who's making the agendas now? Eat Me. Money so you will. Okay. Yeah. So the... When's the due date? Uh, as for, so what's we're going to have the due date back <laughs> for the survey. For the survey back for April, uh, March 31st. April 25th agenda. You'll have the ARPA board on the agenda on the 25th. Yes. Okay. But and then you've got give us a, okay. you've got you've got three weeks <laughs> in between. Of, of what are we doing in, during that three week period? Well, we're we're gonna gonna looking at the surveys and trying to compile this stuff. Let, let, <laughs> So, Robin or whoever's going to help her with this mailing, check with John Reed because when he was getting the town report together, I'm pretty sure he put together a mailing list that yes, was just did. like one All for each on one for each yep. house. Household. Yeah. Although yeah. we still get so. three, so we should go down to because we get one for me, for Kevin, and for McDonald's. <laughs> it should so. be just by house did location. You get three? We got three announcements. Three town, we got three town reports. Three town reports. We got three. We yes. did send a postcard to every yes. single person, but the town report. Oh, maybe you're right. Excuse me. Yeah, I think I like we did. Yes. Yeah. No, you yeah. might be right. We did only get one town report, but we, we did get postcards. Okay, we did, yeah. we did try. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's move on. I think we've covered this. Are we good? Yes. So we're all on the same page? Yeah, thank you. Right. Skip? I have just one more comment. If anyone's stuck on their application, you know, what would be a good use of these funds? Look at the town plan. The goals and objectives oh right. section of the town plan yes. and the implementation There's, implementation strategy. We should put that on there. That, uh, is the plan? Yeah, the town plan is an aspirational plan. It's a great plan. It yeah. is a great plan. It's a great plan. And it does. That's, set a, out goals that's, and that's your strongest. <laughs> no, no, no offense, but that's that's very strong. What you you. Yeah, it's, is the it's a great should, document. Planning to put something forward. That's for a secret. A, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Tell you, you might have to keep going into executive I was going session. in there. <laughs> talking about it. Uh, wow. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So I hope I answered all of your next questions. Well, you're next on the agenda. Skip. If you need mm -hmm. any help. Thank you. From the survey. Just give me a call. Yes, we absolutely will. We will Thank you very, very much. Yeah, uh, yeah. Terrific. Uh, Thank you, guys. It's all right. mm -hmm. terrific. Well, thanks, Chris. Before we get to yours, can I ask Brent, when you guys do your mailings, do you need some help? Do you like paperwork? I know this like board is agreeing that they want every application sent to every home? Household, yeah. That's what they, they want. Yes. Yeah. That's, That's what ARPA wants. Resident. Resident. Year so you're talking resident. like 400 yes. or I mean, so. Do you need some help? You like to stuff envelopes? I know somebody who would go help. Yeah. <laughs> I know that we did at the entire planning commission. Descended upon the town hall, and we stuffed envelopes for a day and a half. <laughs> day and a half? How many did you send out? About that. 700. Oh, because you sent it to every, all, the, all the residents. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I would share my tax okay. bills when I mailed them out. Well, but these, I'm fine with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna stick around with him for a while longer. Right on. I'm not. I'm going. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, yeah. 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 Yes, you want six o'clock right here? Yeah. All right. We got it. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, oh this is my name. It is. No. Reading material. Oh, whoa. So those are paper copies of the uh, information I sent out via email. For you guys, uh, mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. and the first the first piece of paper is the uh, town plan project summary. It just gives a chronological order of uh, what the planning commission did in order to bring the town plan to where it is now. And where it is now is in the select board's lap to adopt the plan, or hold a public meeting, adopt the plan, and move forward with it or not. This is the mighty plan. That, this is this is this, this is, is a, a version of that plan. Oh. It, it is. This is a. It's the town plan. plan. Yeah. It's a town plan, yeah. and and, it, and would this be what That's you're looking for to to get to, to move along and and. Uh, well, there there are steps in order in which to do that, mm -hmm. and so we 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 the planning commission adopted the town plan in December 20, and it was subsequent. Select board meeting on December 27th, 
the plan was given to you, right. and you accepted the plan. A copy was filed mm -hmm. with uh, town office. Town clerk, yep. Robin, and we're moving forward. So but there's not a timeline on this, is it? There is. Yeah, yeah there, there is. is. I'm getting there. Absolutely, I'm getting there. So the, the second document is a letter from the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission. And they received a copy of the draft plan, the same draft plan that you guys have. And just a brief synopsis of this letter is that it meets all the criteria in terms of state statute. Mm -hmm. And also it meets the criteria of the comprehensive electric plan, mm -hmm. energy plans, excuse me, the energy plan. Mm -hmm. So it meets all those criteria. Okay, the uh, next sheet of paper is a checklist for municipal plan adoption. Mm -hmm. So that states you folks have 120 days in which to hold a public meeting to uh, bring the public together, have them take another look at the town plan, and subsequently you can vote to adopt the town plan or not. If you choose to vote to adopt the town plan, then it gets distributed to the Department of Housing and Community Development and to the Regional Planning Commission. So the date of April 26, 2022, that's the drop dead date in terms of the 120 day bogey in which you have to hold the town plan. Uh, right. town, the public meeting. A public sorry. meeting. Yeah. So we would need to do it at least 60 days before that. Actually, it's 15 days. Well, we warn it typically 60 right. days this, beforehand. Yeah. Well, this public meeting. We don't meeting have 60 days. Though. Yeah. This is March. I know. It was given to you in December. No. Nope. It was given to us. You don't need 60 days. You need 15 days. To, to get in with, with our, in our 120 days, um, we could have our hearing on either. So if you go to step two oh. on the checklist, first, yes, sir. it says actions two through eight must be completed at least 15 days prior okay. to the public, no. public meeting. Yes, sir. So it's not like uh, a special public meeting where, you know, 5% of the voters you know, presented you guys with a, peti a petition to hold a special public meeting. It's not. It's nothing like that. It's, you have to warn it 15 days prior to the meeting, and you know, post it through town and post it on uh, print medium or electronic media. And so, these are the steps to go through in order to do that. And so. What I might be looking for today is uh, for you folks to read the plan and subsequently, hopefully at your next select board meeting, adopt a select board resolution to hold a public hearing on the plan or amendment. So that would be step three. Mm -hmm. However, if you've read and committed to memory the uh, town plan, how many of you are, uh, have got that memorized? Uh, memorized? I've read it several times. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's a good read. I, I agree. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you can do that, read it, come back with any questions. No, I thought we had to have it read tonight. Well, if you read it, then perhaps <laughs> tonight you could adopt a resolution to hold a public hearing on the plan. If that's something you feel comfortable with doing tonight, you know, uh, I'd say so it. moved. Second. I can't, I, can't, I can't make that motion. Well, I just did. Okay. okay. Second. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Okay, so. Don't have to read it again. <laughs> I'm going to read it again. Sorry. <laughs> we put it on e-books, too, so. It, Ooh. So that being said, then, with all it takes now is to choose a date. Adopt a resolution. Yeah. Oh, cause so, so we voted it. on whether we have any changes. No, of the plan. Right. We decided we don't have any we changes. We don't have any changes. No. Okay. okay, so we're going to adopt the select board resolution. Yeah, you've just done that. Okay. Okay. The next document is the notice of Wood, uh, Town of Woodbury Notice of Public Hearing. And mm -hmm. This is the same document which I wordsmithed a little bit. And it meets all the criteria of the state statute on what has to be posted in the media and also mm -hmm. in the town. 
And this has to be done 15 days prior, at least 15 days at prior. At least 15 days. Oh, to the 22nd? Or to the 26th? Prior to when you're going to hold that meeting. It's up to you, you folks went to... We have to hold the meeting. Though. Yeah, you have, have to decide to when we're going to hold the meeting. Decide. So the last piece of paper is a calendar. <laughs> that was really good, but I, I got mine already. So, <laughs> so it's nothing that you have to do tonight. You know, the, uh, well, do you have any suggestions? Well, my suggestion would be that you should not hold it coincident with a regular select board meeting. No, I agree. It has to be not. a standalone meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Can I, we, I, I would recommend that it be on a weekend. We found, to your point, Chris, we found that we had more participation on a Saturday at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. than any other month, uh, excuse me, nightly meeting we've ever held. I can't agree more. So if we did it on the 23rd, that would be? 23rd of April. Of April. Think that that's yeah, because the fire department's not doing theirs now, right? Right. So we could take that. Day. We could take that Saturday because they're going to go a different way. Could that doesn't could it possibly be on the 16th? Yeah, I don't know why not because that's you're going to be really close to your 160 days. I'll have to look at my calendar days. to see if anybody is ready to town hall that day. And I didn't think to bring that with me tonight. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah, well, we let's could. tentative. Let's do a tentative. And the reason why I asked for recommendation this, for, for the, the 16th, 16th is because the planning commission meets on the 18th. And Even if, better. And if we have a uh, final adoption of the town plan by the select board, on the 25th? We could, on the 16th, we could have a, a little party. Select board, select pizza. board will yeah. be on the 25th. Pizza and beer. Monday the 25th. <laughs> On what day was this pizza and beer? I gotta put that down. Oh, the 18th. You promise, Skip? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Where'd that come from? I was hoping Michael Sather pops up. Or is that Michael Gray? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> They're both there. Wake up, Michael. Oh, the 18th. Mm. That would be the special select board. No, actually, it would no. be on the 16th. 16th. Saturday, the 16th would at 10 a.m. Would be a special board meeting. Special meeting. So. Robin, you and I will get together, if, if, as long as the uh, town hall is available. Yeah, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody renting it. Okay. Other than that special one that we were going to do the 23rd, but that's now canceled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just want to double check. And once we find out that if that's a good date, then I'll fill in the dates on this document and send it to you folks so... Uh, I think the select board chair should sign this document once it's once it's completed. Once it's completed, completed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you recommend advertising it in three places, or just so this is a select board meeting. It's it's open to the public. Yeah. This is a special. It's a special board meeting. meeting. Special yeah. meeting. And it's a publicly warned meeting, so we'll go into two publications. Which we, you guys have decided would be the Times, the Times Argus, Argus, Times the Argus and the World, okay. no, and, and the Gazette. Hardwick Gazette. So, so we had three okay. that we so had selected. I, yeah. And I'll post it in town. And, and on yeah, Front Porch Forum. Uh, yeah, and so as long as it's on the forum and on the town site. And Gary's and, and through bulletin boards. Right, just, please. Okay. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll certainly course, post town it town yeah. So yeah. we'll have this hearing or discussion right then we'll vote on it that's correct and then we're going to drink beer and eat pizza monday night oh monday night you okay. gotta wait till monday i gotta write that down too, go i thought we we're gonna get it you're same go time pizza. <laughs> you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait <laughs> you'll have to let me know what kind of beer you like. it, it can't be but light, light. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> just don't throw them on the highway <laughs> so, you know, thank you for uh, thanks, Skip. Moving this forward. thank you for all the yeah, work. I mean, kind of work. Yeah, yeah. tremendous amount of work. We appreciate it very much, very much. You really uh, well. It's it, the entire group. It, I, I I don't think I'm wrong, but but the last time this much 
was spent on the town plan was in 1988 or something that like well, that. Well, there was a there was it was revised, but the actual town plan as such was anyway. That's what I've been told, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. It's a long time. It's been a long time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Skip. Tremendous. All right. All right. All right. Um, <clears throat> elected so, and appointed town positions. Yes. So Which, I have checked with a bunch of people, and Chuck Batchelor has said he's willing to be reappointed as the road commissioner. Mm -hmm. Do we need a motion on each of these, or shall we just go through them? I think we can go through them. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, and the, but then you're going to have some vacancies too, right? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, so we'll yeah. have to deal with those too. Right, well, yeah. But for now, we have the ones that have agreed to be reappointed. Okay, okay. Chuck Batchelder mm -hmm. as road commissioner. Greg Parkhurst as road foreman. Kim Silk as animal control officer mm -hmm. and dangerous building officer. And pound keeper. Pound keeper. Yeah. Uh, we are going to have a, a opening on the planning commission. Skip's term is up this year, and he said he's not going to run again. Zoning board of adjustment. We need to make two appointments tonight so that the uh, board of adjustment can have its meeting later, whenever it is soon. <laughs> uh, Rick Cannon. And Mike McGlynn have both agreed to be reappointed. Chance Payette has chosen not to be reappointed, so we'll have a vacancy there. Conservation Commission, there's one person who's up for reappointment this year, Kylie Briggs, and he's interested in being reappointed. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, Michael Gray, is willing to be reappointed. Transportation Advisory Committee. Willing to be reappointed. Okay, You're Chris Cody huh? is, is willing to be reappointed to that. We still don't oh. have a representative. Oh, that's to the, oh, that's, that's. Part of the Regional Planning Commission. Okay. The so Regional uh, Solid Waste District, we still don't have anyone for that. Gary I can, Clark. I can do that one as well. Yeah, oh, great. Okay, so. <laughs> Center for Vermont, Representative Center for Vermont Regional, uh, no, Solid Waste Management District, Chris Codius. That's another night of the month you'll have to be on. Yeah. Gary Clark is willing to be reappointed as the first constable. We don't have an energy coordinator. Assistant Town Clerk and Treasurer are up to the Town Clerk and Treasurer to make those appointments. Emergency management director, I heard from someone that Chance had resigned. I don't know if that's true, but I heard that, and so. I, I, I frankly don't know if it yeah, was formal. I think honestly. Michael mentioned that, but I don't know if it's. If so, we'd have to yeah. talk to somebody from, mm. from the fire crew. Um, Skip Lindsay, are you willing to continue to be the E911 coordinator? Sure. Yay. Wherever you may be. Him. Yeah. I forgot to ask Jim Schweit here on Helm if he's want to be reappointed as a tree warden, but should we reappoint him anyways? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and I didn't contact Rebecca Browning to see if she wanted to continue on the Central Vermont Fiber Board. Fiber Board? Yeah. What do they do? They're, they're the fiber they're optic. They're fiber, oh, fiber optic, optic the, people. Yeah, that's no, the fiber people who are trying to help us with fiber. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, should I ask her or should we reappoint her and then ask her later? Sold. <clears throat> huh? Sold? <laughs> well, she's, she's, she's engaged, isn't she? She's going to the, you mean, yeah. yeah. I think she's involved, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Woodbury Fund <laughs> Committee, Peter Peltz, Grady Neal, Robin Durkee, and Norman Etkin. They should all be reappointed. And so. Isn't George Sawyer on there? 
Did you say George? Well, I think, no, I didn't say Yeah, that. he is on there. He, oh, thank okay. you. He so. was on there, but I thought he had... He has yet to declined. attend a meeting, but he is on there. <laughs> I thought he, I thought <laughs> he had declined. We haven't had a lot of meetings, huh? <laughs> no, I thought he declined. Yeah. No, no, he didn't. Uh, he just he had a workshop that he couldn't attend in the, when we had a meeting, but that was the mm -hmm. only thing I heard. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Do so I have a motion to uh, accept everybody that's recognized for re recurring or returning to office or to whatever you want to call a position? Yeah. Motion approved. Oh. Did he move? To yeah. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you guys want to write the letters, or do you want me to come in and do it? No, we can do it. Okay. Keep this so the you. ones we have left, do you want to announce? Who are? Or can she steal your coffee so she knows what to? Our vacant, yeah. our vacant slots. Um, yeah, we, we do. We still need an emergency management director. We need a health officer. I mean, I think we need an emergency management director. We need I to think. talk to Chance. Oh? Huh? Right. What? We need to talk to Chance. Yeah, to confirm if he has. Remember, you still have that letter over there about the health officer that I gave you. That they need to know by April 20th? <laughs> that would be I know you got me scared. Yeah. Oh, did we tell you about that? What's that? <laughs> What are you doing now? If nobody wants, if we can't find a health officer, then the uh, chairman of the selectmen is uh, what did that default. Happen? It's the law. It's the law. But there's also the, the Board of Health, which is basically the select board. So if anything comes up, the Board of Health should be the one that have to really deal with it. There's not that much that comes up. But. This one. That one. I had it buried in my pile. Oh. You had it in your pile, okay. sir. My problem. But I found it. Mm. So this goes back to that, right? No, you have to determine <laughs> have to, who the health officer is. We have to decide who the health officer is. Oh, okay. geez. It's actually going to be. It's going to be a select board. And if, and if we don't send it back, so. what happens? <laughs> Come on, Skip. He does have everything else. Who's that? It's not fair. Whoever walks through that door is sold. <laughs> so oh, it is. Uh-oh. Oh, nope. Hey. No, absolutely not. <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah, so sit, that leave, leave, no, sit, sit quietly. Sit, 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 sit quietly and don't say a word. And about That's four other new badges. <laughs> 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 Well, you walked uh, right into that. I was <laughs> listening to the meeting at home, so because it looked like you were close to the end, so that's why. Um, <laughs> don't you like to think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are we doing with the town officers? Are we putting Kim Kim Silk down? Or? No, we can't put Tim. No, no, no. That's an important job. No, we can't no, just we suck can't, somebody into it. Just Unless it's Michael. Okay. Michael knows the job already. Which job is that? Health oh, officer. Oh, you don't. I no, no. Gosh, no. <laughs> no, that's why we laugh because we said the next person who comes in, oh, and there you yeah. were. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, literally at the moment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Magic. Yes. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to fill it out. No. Well, I signed it. So you got a signed blank piece oh, of paper. Thanks. Te technically, the chair of the selection. We've, I've been told that, told but I wasn't told. I didn't know about that. He was just. So what's that? What is this? Just, I'll just leave it right here for a second, so but, that we can uh, continue to yeah. deal with the rest we, of our use The assistance of Jay Copping from Callis is very good, and I think if there's a need for that, that we can. He'll he'll advise us. He'll advise, he'll advise us. whoever we get. Okay. All right. So we've got. What's so. Up? So, this happened. Well, I just wanted to update whoever that there is a Board of Adjustment hearing that's been set on the um, um, no. Flat no. Street uh, oh, Flat, Flat Street. Street Appeal. And that's on uh, April 6th. Notices have gone out and they were in the Six. paper. 
Oh, it says on our minutes it's the 26th. That's not the, no, I'm talking about the update for the zoning hearing scheduled. No, that right there is for the special town meeting the 26th. And that's wrong. But that's not what we're talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did make a mistake, yes. How, how, how many wrong things do we have? <laughs> one, one was allowed my first, um, my first agenda. So, <laughs> Steve was the one that pointed out as soon as this went out. No, it wasn't Steve. It was Susan Martin pointed out that Saturday was not the April. Saturday was not April 26th. So it should have been the 23rd. And then when then Steve let me know that he's not going to be around on the 23rd, and the board didn't check with him before they jumped on that date. Sorry. So okay. That's, that's the old board's fault. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Not so the new board. I, That's Chris's I, fault. So Chris will take responsibility for that one. <laughs> when we voted for Stephen to be the moderator for the last special town meeting, is that the, we voted for him to, to he's continue the, out the year? He's no, he was no, elected. That town meeting day. That town meeting day. Oh, town meeting day. That town meeting day. He was. So, anyways, in order to elected. figure out this this deal. I checked with Steve Freihafner to see if maybe he would step in as a moderator, temporary. And he was having oral surgery right about that time, and he didn't want to do that. So um, I checked with Chance and Paul to see if that was going to be a problem, pu pushing this ahead a couple weeks for them. And they said they would rather have it on the 7th of May than the 30th of April because they have a fire school that day. So if we go ahead with the 7th of April, um, no, the 7th so of May, May, sorry. May. The uh, petition was delivered on February 14th. We have 60 days to act on it. So if we act on it, um, if we sign the warning on March 28th, the um, Warning has to be signed within 60 days. The hearing doesn't have to be set within 60 days. The warning has to be decided. And uh, it has to be warned between no less than 30 or more than 40 days. So um, if we sign the warning on April 11th, that means the, uh, it would only be 28 days would be less than 30. That's not so. If we sign the warning on March 28th, which is our next meeting, um, it'll be pretty, you know, almost 40, day, 40 days, depending on how you count the days, you know, as they occur. So I, I would suggest that on March 28th at our next meeting, we should sign the warning and it should be for May 7th, Saturday morning. Um, who usually checks with the school to see whether that's... Uh, that'd be Chris. You're going to do that? Okay. So make sure that's available at 10 o'clock Saturday morning, May 7th. This room? No, the no, school. No, the gym. The gym. Use the gym. Mm. This is the meeting for the fire department. For the fire department. Building. The big There's going fire to be department. A lot of so discussion. There's, there's going to be well attended. April 23rd. No. Wait, no, the zoning hearing was just for the um, the 6th of April. There's nothing on the 23rd anymore. Okay. Plan, town plan hearing on the 16th. My goodness. Wait a minute. So, the, spring. so May 7th is the showdown with the fire yeah. department. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be back. Yes. Ready to go. I'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, ready or not, I'll be there. <laughs> Great, thank you. Yes. Do we, are yeah. we really saying showdown? <laughs> well, what, is that, so that's not, not, in the <laughs> not in the minutes. But <laughs> it's a discussion about the the. Is it, are we make, taking formal action on it, or are we just uh, is it's it a public be, hearing? It's the voters. It's it, a it special meeting, and people are going to vote with either vote. their hands or their paper ballots or something like that. And will anything go out in advance of that? So oh, gosh, yes. I'm sure the fire department has a lot of stuff. They've got a video. Mm -hmm. They've probably got... I don't think we have, a, have to have a pre-town, pre-meeting, because this is going to be an open meeting, so right. people can ask all their questions in that meeting, meeting before they vote. That was so the it'll goal. probably be a couple hours. Okay. But the, I'm sure the fire department's going to 
put there's some plenty of stuff out, stuff out there, yeah. which is good. Yeah. We can yeah. echo that in some way if we want to. We're supposed to be, you know, indifferent to this, so it's well, it's uh, the voter's choice. It's the voter's yeah. choice. So, uh, Robin, you did the warning on the last special meeting. Mm -hmm. Can you do this one up? Yes. Okay. We'll have it ready to sign on the 28th? Yes. Thanks, Ms. Turkey. Welcome. Wait a minute. We're signing the, the warning. warning. The warning that's going to say this article has been submitted by petition and whatever, what, what the article says, and then we'll put the date and the time and all the wherefores and whereas right. and sign it and it will go sure in the paper. Clear. So just to, it, it, in the May 7th meeting, it, is it going to be a public hearing and a formal vote? No, it's a, pub, it's a meeting. It's a special town meeting and a, which will end in a vote. In a vote. Mm. Yeah. It's just like when you do your regular town meeting yeah. and you're voting on an article. You have your discussion and then you vote. No, I'm just thinking about the, uh, uh, the and then I'm not, well, it's, uh, I'm sure it will sound like I'm, um, but this whole t uh, fire station has had a curious history in terms of locating it, um, um, funding it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I understand, Callus is not expected to pay anything to this, even though we cover them. I'm sure that'll come up at the I'm meeting. Sure that will but come they've up. decided, yeah, they've got a good explanation for well answer for that. And the last time I heard, it's 1.3. It's going up. It's 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 going up. Eighty-five thousand dollars a year for twenty years. For twenty years. Anyway. We'll so come. yeah, lots of uh, questions. Just focus on the piece, like the pizza and beer. <laughs> oh, that will help? <laughs> no. You have enough beer? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> you say anything. This is uh, <laughs> no, this is, this is a big one. Mm -hmm. It's huge. It is. Which is why we've been working on this for quite a while. It didn't sure pass. Yeah, it, it didn't pass, pass before. Year. It hasn't passed. And so this is why we're taking a different approach. And this, uh, I mean, they were given this land, which is really a big bonus. Um, I assume they, I don't know what kind of money they used to clear the lot, but they've got the lot cleared and they've got a plan. And Michael, that was all federal funding we used to make that lot. No, um, uh, clear. that's the way by the, the old store end. used to be. Um, the fire department got some kind of donation to... to uh, Vermont State Employees Credit Union the took the took the land back from the people who from owned people it. Who they owned died, it. And, right. and they took yeah. it back, I'm and sorry. they gave it to the fire department. Yeah, yeah God, that was the federal money was for the lot next next, next door. door. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other updates? Other business? Whoops, that's your job. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, I, I'd like to hear a motion to um, adjourn. adjourn, yeah. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. Baptism by fire, that's what this is. <laughs>